Welcome back. Uh, we are here on eToro, and this is going to be uh, my um, trades for Monday's session. So, for this trading session, I will be focusing on, uh, or highly focusing on, the currency market. And the reason be is that for for a very long time now, for several months, all the way back to uh, mid um, mid March, the U.S. dollar has been decreasing in value uh, when comparing to uh, other currencies. So this is the U.S. dollar index, and what this index basically shows is that it compares the strength of the dollar to other major currencies. So if this graph were to increase, then it means that the U.S. dollar, uh, the strength of the U.S. dollar increases, and if it goes down, then the U.S. dollar weakens compared to the other currencies. And this has, of course, enormous implications for other uh, instruments, for example, oil. So uh, if we saw uh, if this, there is a negative correlation between the value of the dollar and the price of oil. So if the dollar strengthens, then oil prices go down. If the dollar weakens, oil prices go up. And we have reached... Um, significant level last Friday, which has, uh, uh, well, recently been um, uh, a significant support level. So if we break this level, which is around uh, $95.50, uh, uh, then we may see um, an increase in oil, or if we basically see an increase in the value of the dollar, then we may see a decrease in the value of oil. So people that like to um, to trade oil, you should definitely pay attention to this index. Uh, but at the moment, I'm going to uh, look at this index because I'm going to or plan to trade the euro US dollar, the Aussie US dollar, uh, the sterling US dollar or the yen US dollar. Um, so, of course, if this, if the value of the of the US dollar increases, then of course uh, we will see uh, a major shift in the value of the US dollar, yen, or US dollar, uh, euro, and so on. And that's what I'm just gonna show what I am expecting is going to happen. So we have been at this level before, only uh, a few weeks ago. We reached the same level and then we bounced from this level. So this level, if we put a line through this area here, has been major resistance for uh, a quite a long time. So this area here, this whole area here has been shown to be significant support, I mean, sorry. So if we were to break this level here, then we would go and retest the lows in March. And at the moment, I, do not, I don't expect that to happen. What I am expecting to happen is that we're going to touch this uh, support line and then we're going to bounce, similar to uh, what happened only a few weeks ago. And all the indicators show that this is basically about to happen. We uh, we can see the RSI. We are nearly oversold, but it's about to, to change direction. We have, can see that the stochastic has changed direction and we're about to go up again. And the same goes for the MACD. We basically um, triggered the signal line um, four days ago. So also the MACD indicates that we're about to change direction. Uh, I don't have the Bollinger Band here, but I'm pretty sure if I put the Bollinger Band up that we are basically at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Where is the Bollinger Band this year? Uh, at the bottom, yes, we can basically see that we are basically at the bottom, bottom at the Bollinger Band. So, so we are at the same level as we were a few weeks ago. And this, all of these indicators indicate that we're about to see a change 
in the value of the US dollar. So the US dollar will most likely uh, increase in value and that of course will have a um, significant effect on, for example, commodities and also the relations with the other uh, currencies. So I'm thinking about buying here. I'm not a seller at this point and I do expect this to go um, up to around uh, uh, around this area here. So um, around 96, 97 tops. Um, in best case scenario, we would uh, hit the uh, 50 moving average. We can see it's trending downwards. So we may hit the 50 moving average and then we'll continue downwards. So this is a possibility that just to trade the index. That is, uh, that is also a possibility. So we can look back historically then th that this area has been significant support um, throughout yeah we can go way way back if you go the weekly charts we can see that this area has been um, significant support area uh, for a very long time so that's why i expect a bounce from this support um, line and this of course means that it will be possible to trade, make very good trades for other currencies, US dollar relations with other currencies. So this is the top of my list. I, I intend to buy this currency if we see that, uh, if this gives an indication that it will go higher. So my next trade is the US, uh, Euro US dollar. So we can see that the euro US dollar is also hitting critical um, resistant levels. And of course, this makes sense because the other index of the US dollar is hitting significant support. So uh, when the US dollar index increases, this should basically decrease. And this makes actually perfect sense. I expect the US dollar to increase in value and therefore this will fall. And what that means that is that we will most likely go and retest um, these lows again. In best case scenario, I expect this to fall back to uh, um, 1.1100 uh, or basically hit the 50 moving average. So I intend to short the euro us dollar and the same goes for the aussie us dollar so we're in the same situation situation actually it's a better trade to to do the euro us dollar but the aussie and you the, the us dollar is in the same situation when the us dollar uh, increases in value this should go down and the best case scenario we will we'll go down to zero um or We'll go down to the 50 moving average, which is around uh, 0, uh, 0.6820. So I will be focusing heavily on currencies tomorrow because I expect the US dollar to increase in value either tomorrow or on Tuesday. So if that happens, I will be buying the US dollar index and selling or shorting the Aussie or the, the Euro. Uh, you could also look at um, Great British Pound. Um, this is probably not a very good trade. We're basically in the middle of uh, between the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. So, but indicators also show here that we're about to see a uh, trend reversal to the downside. And that also... Um, it coincides with the uh, increase of value of the US dollar. So this is technically the same trade. Um, I would, I'm technically going to stay away from this, but this is also an indication that we're about to see, um, at least for the next uh, one to three trading days, that the US dollar will increase in value and all of these currencies will uh, basically go down. It's possible to short. Next on my list is copper. 
So I did quite a good trade on uh, on last Monday because we hit significant uh, resistant level at 3000 and I did it made a short and that was also the 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 right thing to do because it fell significantly all the way then to uh, to 2.9 and yes that was the correct trade. Um however, I do expect copper to fall even further from here. This is just too overextended and we have um, tested uh, this uh, this level and we got rejected. And I do believe we have to go a little uh, further down before we retest this um, highs again. So I'm not interested in shorting this. At the moment, we're in between uh, 3000 and uh, 2007 uh, or 3.00 and 2.75 level here. Uh, no, uh, and the 15 when we average, I'm sorry. And I do expect this to go down all the way down to 2.7 before we increase. Um, so I'm just going to wait until we hit this uh, this level here, and then I'm going to, to buy. So copper, I'll just wait what happens, but this is really an interesting uh, market to, to look at. Um, and then I'm going to look at Tesla. Or Bitcoin of the day. So, I, I did this trade last Monday. This should have been one of my best trades ever. I got out of the market fairly quickly. Uh, one of the reasons was it, because it was so volatile. It actually fell from around um, $1,800 a share. Yes, $1,800 a share uh, for a Tesla stock. Absolutely ridiculous. It fell all the way down to uh, $1,470, there about, in one day. Like, it exploded from, from uh, $1,536 all the way to $1,800 and then fell all the way back to 1483 and since then we've been trading sideways um, the reason why I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm not going to trade this right now I do believe we'll go back because we've done this before we we can go all the way back here when Tesla stock also absolutely exploded and the RSI just went to the roof it was so overbought we then had a decrease and then we retested these levels again. So what I expect to happen probably sometimes next week is that we are going to retest these highs again and then we're just going to absolutely collapse in this market. We'll go probably go all the way back down to the 200 moving average because, or how do you say this? This doesn't make any sense. This is technically Bitcoin. Uh, if you look at the, the chart for Bitcoin, it's very similar to this. This market has just been completely overbought and is mainly hype because there's, there's, there's nothing new. There's nothing new here. Um, there's so much hype that, that Tesla has become the most valuable um, valuable. Uh, automator in the world and people are just buying this as everything is just going to go absolutely perfect for Tesla the next few years and that is just a ridiculous um, in my view absolutely ridiculous um, to, to buy Tesla stock at this level this just has to go down if people look at Tesla's P.E. ratio, I think it's like 300 or something like that. Usually investors look, or long-term investors look at um, stocks that have a P.E. ratio beneath 20. Tesla is about 300. That is it's a ridiculous price to pay for, uh, for this stock. So... This expectation, this will just, this is a massive bubble at the moment. At some point, it will, it will 
completely crashed like it did um, only a few uh, a few weeks ago, a few months ago. So, but I do re- do expect that this uh, this uh, expect us to retest these highs before we basically get this enormous crash. So, this is a stock that I'm looking at. Uh, the same goes for Zoom. This is also uh, also stock that that is quite inter- interesting to short. However, not as this time. So what I expect is going to happen with the, the Zoom stock is that we're going to retest the 15 moving average. We see that all the other indicators are just collapsing at the moment. And we have been here before. Um, this is a very really volatile stock. Um, but because coronavirus is, and technically there's almost a second wave of coronavirus, and uh, California has already started shutting down. It's one of the biggest economies in, in the world. I think the fifth the biggest economy in the world is trying starting to shut down. And we may see other European countries also shutting down that people will start working more at home. And that is what basically kicked off this uh, stock in the, in the first place. So as long as we have Corona and there's quite a lot of hype about Zoom and so on. I don't expect this stock to collapse anytime soon. It will eventually. When the coronavirus is over, this stock will absolutely crash. The day that that uh, uh, vaccine is um, announced and so on, and it's basically end of corona, this stock will go back to its previous level of around 70. So, so uh, But at this current point, I'm waiting for this stock to hit the 15 moving average and then I'll start buying. And and uh, I do expect the stock to go to 300 before we see uh, another significant decrease in this stock. Um, next is Airbus. So last week, I said that Airbus uh, has been really resistant, uh, supported when it comes to the 15 moving average. And... We saw last Monday we had a massive increase. It went all the way up to $70 before it got rejected. And then we're about to go back down. And I believe that on this Monday session, we'll probably hit the 50 moving average again, which will make uh, for a good opportunity to buy the stock. If the stock would, uh, if the stock basically breaks the 50 moving average, we will go much lower from here. We'll go all the way back to the um, lows um, uh, of uh, 38. And this, of course, will be major, major support and a fantastic buying opportunity to basically hold this stock for quite a long time. So, yes, when I say a long time, I mean three to around five years because by that time, airliners should um, have recovered from this uh, coronavirus and we probably go all the way back to the highs of of uh, 130 and so on and even higher than that so but that is a long term but at the moment i'm looking for this to hit the 15 moving average and then i'll be a buyer um yes that is what i'm gonna look at tomorrow it will mainly be uh, I will mainly be focusing on the US dollar index and currencies and um, then I'll just see what happens to these uh, stocks because yeah I don't like looking at the, the, the tens and tens of uh, different stocks it just confuses you don't have to do that focus on a few things and um, look at their behavior and then basically take uh, a good decision whether or not to buy or to sell. And by looking at too many things at the same time, that will only um, uh, only um, uh, affect your focus and you'll make worse decisions. So I hope you guys um, see... Uh, uh, well, I hope this video was helpful and um, and I'm planning on putting out videos like this 
uh, every day if I have time to do that uh, because it also helps me uh, focus better on these trades and so on. And it would be amazing if you basically could make a comment about uh, this analysis because the more people discuss and the more opinions people could uh, put out on the on the comment se section, um, yeah, of course, there's always something um, I or or other people um, have missed and so on. So it would be fantastic if people could comment on on these videos. Um, good luck, and uh, you're welcome to support this channel by subscribing and clicking the like button. So good luck and happy trading. Thank you.